a bit noisy up here with traffic at the moment, but uh, you can see various so-called burial mounds up here. Line this camera up properly a minute. There are hundreds of these all over the landscape. It's more across the road. Over there. And this is called the Sanctuary on the other side of the road. This was a wooden circle. None of it. I'll try and cross this road a minute. None of the pieces of wood exist anymore, of course, but they have replaced them with concrete blocks to show the layout of the circle. So you can see the sanctuary in respect of everything else that's around here. And going back to Avebury you can get an idea there of the shape. And this is where we are now. They've drawn that with um, stone but uh, it was mostly timber if not all timber. And we're right next to the quarry as well where they um, took the stones for Avebury and also Stonehenge by the way. They use the same quarry for Stonehenge stones. Some of the larger stones that are used at Stonehenge were quarried here as well and then taken in the distance over there. God knows how they got them up those hills but uh, that's another story. Some theories say they took the route of the river which is plausible but uh, when you're talking 80 ton stones I don't know what kind of boats they had in those days to carry them. This is a little bit confusing with all these uh, I'm guessing the... Uh, I haven't been here very often actually. I'm guessing these red ones circular were wood and the blue ones were probably stone. I don't know if you can... Yeah, the long barrows over there. It's not going to be possible to see that in the camera right now. You can see Silvery Hill right there, though. I've seen that before, that's a beauty. Wow. I wanted to mention those burial chambers as well because I was never convinced of the burial tomb chamber theory, if you like. Some of them, have, a few of them have been excavated and they did find bodies in. But uh, recently, one near Stonehenge, quite a large one, uh, they concluded that actually it wasn't a burial chamber. It may have been used as a place to sleep, which is very interesting. So they may have been the ancient equivalent of a hotel. So you dig out, uh, you build a mound, you have a hole in it, and uh, people can come in times, very cold times, like the winter, winter solstice, and then they can uh, 
sleep inside these uh, chambers and keep out of the elements because it's very cold up here in winter. So these may not be burial tombs at all. This traffic is very noisy. There's another one there. I say there's hundreds of them all over this landscape, probably thousands actually. There's three in the line there. It's actually easier to build a mound than it is to dig into the ground, so you just pile the earth up and if you make a hollow with, with, uh, with blocks of stone then you get, you've got an entrance on it and then uh, you've got a place to sleep. So it makes more sense than uh, the, the old theory that um, they were... This traffic is so noisy, do apologise.